Hi everybody, um, this is a requested video on how to do a quiff and it was requested by Music Queen 05. Um, there's, there's two ways that I do my quiffs. It uh, depends on whether I've got plenty of time or I've got hardly any time or whether I want a big solid quiff or if I just want a very sort of soft soul quiff. So, the, the first thing I want to do is just make sure that your hair's nicely brushed out, especially along the top. Um, I generally take my quiffs as a guide from about where my eyebrows arch. Okay, and I use my fingers, and from about there to the middle, sort of middle, middle, middle of my head, I uh, take a section and join the fingers up together and make sure all of that is down on the sides so it's kind of like a triangle on your head alright brush this back just to make sure it's nice and smooth and then I use my fingers here at the very back to pinch it together push it down on my head and push it forward and that is how I get a nice little cliff. Now of course you're going to need your bobby pins or your cur Kirby grip. And what you want to do is, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to try. <laughs> um, you want to put your Kirby grips in front of your fingers and you want to crisscross them. So you need to come in from behind and cross over that one there. And that is going to keep you quiff in. And once you've got the two in, you can go and put more in. Just to secure it, I usually put about four, four or five. It does take a bit of practice, but you do get the shape. And then, what you can do is spray it and just make sure all those little flyaways are nicely set away. And then you can curl the rest of your hair, you can put it down and straight. Or what I find looks quite good with a quiff is if you put in a bit of a high ponytail you get a really kind of funky, punky, rocky kind of, you know, ponytail with a quiff. It's really cool. I love wearing my hair in a quiff and a ponytail. So, the other way that you can do a quiff is pretty much the same apart from it involves backcombing and some people like to backcomb some people don't it depends on how much you backcomb your hair how roughly you backcomb your hair I guess and the condition of your hair as to whether or not it's going to damage it or not so brush that out again and what you're going to need for this is a tail comb okay and pretty much the same thing take your fingers part your hair but maybe you want to take it actually a little bit wider this time okay so the trick to this is to take the sections and back on the roots so start about halfway up and just pack that down and give it a bit of a spray back on tear should stand up okay and that was my phone so next section and you can see there 
is all sectioned off quite nicely. Just twist that out your way. Back on that. Spray it. Next section. You can do this in about four or five sections, depending on how much hair you have. Okay, so now you've got your next section. Same again. Back on the roots. Doesn't have to be a lot. And now you're left with this very last section, which you do still want to back home, but only just a tiny bit, just to give it some strength. So, now that you've got this crazy looking hair, best thing to do is just to comb it very, very gently, just so that that top hair, that last section, is going to cover that back combing. And then once again, you want to gather everything in the back and push it all forward. And when you've back combed your hair, it can be a bit tricky to get the shape, because back combing kind of goes a little bit lumpy but I will show you how to figure out shape afterwards so once you get it the height you want to this is the good thing about back combing as well guys you can make it massive you can get like proper you, you can get an Amy Winehouse <laughs> you can get a wine or do so once you've Kirby grip that exactly the same as the last little quiff I showed you. Crisscrossed. Okay. Spray that. Now you're probably going, yeah, but it's kind of, it, it, it's wonky. It's fine there, it's got a lump there, and then it slopes down there. That's where this part of your tail comb comes in handy. Literally slide it in there and pull it out where you need it to. And once you try this, believe you me, you will, you will get what I mean. And you can get it pretty damn freaking perfect. As perfect as it's ever going to be. So, once you have your quiff in, you can spray some more, you can curl your hair, you can pick sections, just like literally like that, don't look at my roots, and twist them back. That's a really funky thing to do. Twist them back, really tight your head, get your curvy grip, secure that in there. Next section. Take that. Twist that back. My uh, natural hair wasn't so blonde, this wouldn't look so bad. <laughs> but no mind. Last section. So you've got like, ignoring that bit there, which we can just kind of be gripping again. You can get some, like, rocking hair, you know? Maybe you want to put it up in a ponytail? And that just gives you an even bigger quiff? Yeah, you can, you can pretty much do what you like with this now.
So, I hope this has helped. Um, I hope that you now know how to do a quiff better. So, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe. And uh, send in your requests. See you later. Bye.